Okay, tonight is uh, February 19th, 2020. We're doing Brachas Mem Zion, 47. We start on the last line of Mem Vav Amibay. Ton Rabbonim. We, we were talking about how to give kibud, you know, who, who gets to, to, to bench, who gets to wash first. So the Brisa says there are some things that we don't give covered. Eimachadim lo bedrachim. For example, you're on a road. You, do you say to the person who is guttled in you, oh, go before me? No. There's no cover to that. Velobik shorim, when you get to a bridge. There's no cover by, oh, have the guttled walk over the bridge first. Velobi adayim mizuamos. And not with mayim achronim. So there's no, that's why by, by mayim achronim, there's no special kibbutz. Rav and Vabai have a ka'azli ba'orcha. Rav and Vabai were walking on the road. Kadmei chamrei de Ravin led Abaya. Ravin's donkey went ahead of Abaya. V'lo amr le nezel mar. And Ravin didn't say to Abaya, mar, meaning it's a statement of covet, please go ahead of me. He didn't, he stayed in front of Abaya. Omar, so Abaya said to himself, this Rav, he had just made Aliyah from Eretz Yisrael, he must think who he is. He has, he's very haughty. That's why he didn't say anything to me that I should go ahead. They got to the shul. So Ravin piped up to Ne Almar. At that point, he told about, please go in first. So he gave Abai COVID going into the shul. What up until now was not a mar. Now all of a sudden you're calling me mar. You're giving me yeah. cover. What happened before? Listen, this is this, this is what I learned from my Rebbe in Eretz Yisrael. You give cover to a godel to go into a house first, in a house that has a mezuzah. The is be mezuzah in the less be mezuzah low. It means a house that has mezuzah, yes. Mm -hmm. The less mezuzah, low. And by uh, these other things, like we said, going on the road, should you ask the godel to go before you? There's no special so keeper to that. Say it again? Ravin came from it, so Abai wasn't involved in it. So, so, oh, so, he, so Ravin, Abai didn't know it. Yeah, he was uh, Right. Right. He came, he came, so he came with this statement from Rabbi Yochanan, because Rabbi Yochanan was the god of Meretz Yisrael. Okay. A shul also doesn't have a mezuzah. So why was he machab, why was he machabed there? It means a pesach that is royal mezuzah. It means a regular house or any place that has, that you could put a mezuzah on it. Otherwise, it would have the dinim of a mezuzah. Uh, that's a place where you can give covet for somebody to go and. I mean, there's a difference between. Them. A base of Knesset and a base of Medrash, because the base of Medrash, you didn't want things in there. You, you leave it in there, and you'd want the base of Knesset is right for Shira. The base of a Medrash, you probably would have a Medrash on the door. And if you're a base of Knesset, it's not. There's no Halakha Pesukah here, but we'll, in Hilchos Mezuzah, we're going to learn that. This base Medrash has a Mezuzah. And now they put everything on it, but you normally you would say a base of Medrash because there's more things in here than a base of Medrash than in here. Than a, a base of Knesset. A regular base of Knesset does not have a mezuzah, but a base of Medrash does. Yeah. Because as you say, sometimes there's a Kiddush here, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now the Shtiblach, there was always a Kiddush there. Yeah. I have to remember if there were, if we had a, if we had a uh, mezuzah in that little Shtibl on 3rd Street there. I remember. Amir Rebbe Rav Shmuel Bar Shilos Mishmei Rav. The balabayas, or whoever cuts the bread, he has to make a bracha, then eat from the piece that he cuts. The rest of the people around the table should not begin eating until, until he, ta he tastes from the itmar. It should have said, why did it say lechol? Now the Gemara says it. Well, what's the difference? Litom echol is the same thing. 
It's not because shechayiv adam loimer b'loshon rabba. We, a person is required to say over halacha from what he heard from his rebbe. So if he heard from his rebbe lechol, then rebbe said lechol. The rabba. Shnayim amtinim zelazeh b'ka'ara. So if let's say two two people are eating from one plate. Mm -hmm. You know, like the Mexican restaurants where they bring you and oh, maybe right. they Susan or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People eating from one plate. So there, each person waits for the other. Gives co you know, you take, I take, you, you know, they give cover to the other person. Now, once there's three, shloisha ain Once there's three people, just go for it. You don't have to wait. You know, each one can take as they want to eat. Next, haboitzeya. <laughs> Who poishet yarot chila? The one who cuts the bread, he's the one usually who takes the first piece. But in balach lekaber l'rabboi, all the mishagod l'men are harshus piyada. But he could give it to his rebbe or to someone who's bigger than him. Rabbi Rachana va'asik le lebrei. Rabbi Rachana was working for the wedding of his son, Bay Rav Shmuel bar Rav Tikina by Rav Shmuel. Chodim v'yosef v'kamasi le lebrei, and he taught him this brayso that ein abutzer rishayim b'tzuach sheyich lo amir piyapeni. That the person who's making the amoitzi should not begin cutting the bread until everybody has answered amen to the bracha. You should wait. Everybody answer amen, then you can cut. Rav Chizom Rav Roy Va'oyin. It doesn't have to be everybody. The majority of the people who said amen. Amalei Rav Barachama. Maish Nebruba. Dakat Yilakal Yibracha. I mean, what's the difference? If, if the issue is the bracha has not been finished because they haven't said amen, who cares whether it's the majority or if it's a minority? We should wait till everybody. Because there's a problem in protracting your amen. Don't, don't you know, add, take an hour to answer amen. Um, you're mistaken if you do. And there's a halachos regarding amen. Torah bana, ain amen lo amen chatufa. Don't answer too quick. Velo amen kitufa. Shemech sa kriya sa nun. She ain't emotzi be peshet ain nochlet. He doesn't, you don't hear him say amen fully. Velo amen yasoma. For example, what's an amen yasoma? If a person didn't hear the bracha. He just hears everybody else, everybody answering amen, so he throws in his own amen. But that's called an amen yisoma. Velo yizrak bracha mipi. You shouldn't just throw out a bracha. You should in fast. It's like looks like you, it's like weary. Take your time. Make the bracha carefully. Benazi oimer kol oine amen yisoma ye barad yisoma. That means if you if you answer one of these amens and you didn't hear the bracha and you just heard everybody else answer amen, it's a klala that the, your, the, you won't be around because your children will be a somen. Chatufa, if you do it too quickly, you chat chuyama. They'll grab away your your dates. Ketufa, where you don't you don't hear you pronounce it properly, you chat chuyama. So it'll happen to your days as well. If you if you say I mean properly, you know you don't rush it. The midah connected midah is they will lengthen your lives as well. But don't do it too long. Rav and Shmuel were eating a Rav and Shmuel were eating a suda. Us Rav Shmuel were chama. Have a kamesare v'achil. He was eating quickly. It looked because remember Rav and Shmuel had already eaten, and I guess the other guy who joined them. Wanted to eat really quickly so he could join them in a zimun. Armali Rav, what are you doing? It's Tarufi Badon, what do you want to catch up to us? Anachil no longer, we finished eating. Armali Shmuel says, no, we didn't finish. Ilu Maisuli Ardilia Vigoizle, if they would have brought us a nice venison or nice, uh, you know, ch chicklings, you know, little birds, mm -hmm. wouldn't you eat? So in essence, if you would eat, if they brought you more food, then the meal is not over. The Rav were sitting by the Suda. All Rav Acha, Rav Acha came and joined them. 
Amri, people said, also Gavar Rabba. The Ruvach, oh, a big man came so he can bend for us. Amr Lehu, Mitzvah Rizit Godel, Mavarech. Is it the Godel that is Mavarech? Iker Shabbosudah Mavarech. The main person in the Suda, mainly the host, Amr Lehu, Mitzvah Godel Mavarech. Enoch Nami, the Godel, you know, we're talking about Godel Betoira. He should Mavarech. Avar Gavda also, even if he came in late. The covenant is to give him to bend. Okay, then the Mishnah said demai. What demai? That's food that was bought from an Amo Aretz. The Amo Aretz was not sure that they gave Trumas and Maestras. So even though, even so, you could make a Zimun on demai. So Maestr, so, so, what do you mean? You yeah. can't eat demai. Until you give Trumas and Maestros from it. So how can you make Zimun? The Gemara says, no, you, there's a different reason. Since there's a possibility, if he wanted to, this person could mafkir all of his assets. What happens then? He's an Oni. And an Oni can eat Dmai. When the Roman legions would walk through town and you had to host them in your house, you could, <coughs> you could, uh, you could feed them demai. So since there's a possibility at, at any time, you could be mafkir all your assets, become an ani, and the demai, the, the demai would be chazi to you, so that's why you can make zimun on it. I'm Rav Luna. <coughs> Beishamai disagrees, but the Tanakama holds that you can, and we pass in that way. So that's why you can make a zimun even on demai. Then the Mishnah said, "My serishon shenotl trumaso." You have my serishon; the truma was given from it. Okay, so there's nothing wrong with it. Pshita. So of course you can make zimun. What's the problem? Here's what happened. The farmer normally brings in all the produce and then they pile it up in what's called a cree, like in a pile. At that point, you give trumas maestros and all the various gifts. The levy went out in the field while it was still stocks and mm -hmm. took his maestro then. So really, the, the, the truma to the koyen had not been given. Mm -hmm. So you might think that maybe this maestro is missing the truma 150th Maybe he has to give it. And why is he making zimun? So the din is no, there's no problem. Right. Maybe she give him a shim of trumas, my sir, for a trumas, good oil, could have a vote, I'm a vom rich lockish. My sir, she should give him a shibol and potter, my trumas, good oil. The din is it's potter. There's no din of truma anymore. Shem nemar, very most, and men of trumas are shem. Maser, mina maser, maser, mina maser, my dracha. So the the pasuk gives us a drasha that the levy is not responsible to give the truma when he took the produce at that stage. So maybe if the levy takes it by the once they pile it up, it's also going to work. So the gemara says, where, where, where do you see that that will exclude it? Because once you make it in a pile, it's called dogon. And the Pasuk talks about the goncha. The, the other place, it's not dogon yet. So there's no chi of truma yet. Period. Then it says, The Mishnah said, if you took Maeser Sheni and you were nifte, you would point to it, or Hegdish and you would point to it, then you make a zimun. So again, the Gemara says, Pshita. What's the problem? Like we said, let's say you're a farmer in Tel Aviv. You've harvested a thousand dollars worth of produce, and it's too much of, to schlep to Shalim. So you have to take twelve hundred dollars, right? The extra twenty percent, and you have to transfer the kedusha of the grain to the money. The grain can stay in Tel Aviv; you can eat it there. The money you schlep up to Shalim, you buy food there, etc. So the din is here over here. He only redeemed it on the thousand dollars. He didn't do the two hundred. And bar kamash the ein chomish and. Meikra didn't have to give it, but if you didn't give it, it doesn't, 
created a problem where you couldn't make zimun on this food. Then it says, Hashem is shachal kazayis. If the waiter ate a kazayis while he was serving you, he can join in the zimun. Then pshita. Why, why not? Bow to say, Hashem is like kava. Maybe when a waiter is eating, because he, he's not sitting down in koi suda, he's flitting between the table mm. and the kitchen and back and forth. Maybe there's no concept of kviya suda. The the Mishnah tells us that there is. Then it says, Vakusi mezamirla. We said the kusi, mm. you make zimun on him, frankly, on my low. And first of all, why can you make Zimun? Why should he be better than Amo Aretz? Tanya, ain't Mizanim al Amo Aretz. You don't include an Amo Aretz into Zimun. Number one, we're talking about an expert Kusi, a Kusi who kept all the, all the dinim of Tumah Batari. He was called a Chavir. So there's no issue. He's not Amo Aretz. And Rabbi Amarfilu Tem of Kusi Amo Aretz. You could say a Kusi didn't know anything. Vacha Vacha We're talking about an Amaretz who's only Amaretz regarding rabbinic things, not doing recipe things. The Pliga Ali Rab Meir. The Pliga Alei the Rab Meir asking. We're talking about this Machlikas of Rab Meir. The Tanya. Ezeu Amaretz. What defines an Amaretz? Right? If he doesn't eat, even his chulen betahari is an Amaretz. Chodim say no, it has to do with not giving Maiser. The Kusim gave Maiser because they did everything that's written in the Torah. They didn't do things written in Torah about that. Mizr Zahiri. What, that which was written in the Torah, the, the Kusim were very careful. The Omar called Yisrael. The mitzvahs that the Kusim kept held on to, well, they were medagdik even more than Jews. Zimun is a rabbanan, not a baraisa. The branch is as well. Baraisa, but Zimun is always rabbanan. And therefore what? Therefore, they, they don't, you, you say a Kusi only keeps the rice if it's itself. No, it was like this. It, the Chachorim said in Amar Aretz, we said you can't make zimun with an amaretz, and the chachamim said, "What's an amaretz? People don't give meiser. The kusim gave meiser because we because meiser is written in the Torah. It's not a drabonon. It's not a Torah shabbat pedik din. It's a, it's a it says aser taser. So therefore, they, they, they was no they're not considered amaretz because the kusim whatever was written in the Torah they did more than the Jews did. But, but do they do they keep Torah shabbat pedik? No, no, no. They did not. So but uh, but meiser has nothing to do with Torah shabbat pedik. So it was Zimu, but you could be mezamin on him. You could include him in the Zimu. He was, if there was two in a kusi, you could yeah, make Zimu. Okay. So what about the operation would be the chelad in it? Say again? The kusi, what would be holding it by? The place of chelad would be the chelad in it? The chalev, imo. In no, the fat of his milk? No, chalev means milk. How do you know this chalav? Be because, you know not chalav? because we had it in, in mm -hmm. Hulan, we look. Yes, exactly, Hulan, but they were not hogging it. This is what I'm asking. The Kusi were not hogging it, Rabbi Shabbatay. No, but, but you, Lot of Ashel Gedi Bachalevi Mo is the way this in Masach the Soifrim. Yes, in Masach the Soifrim. From the Gomorrah, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know it's Chalav and not Chalav. From the Torah by itself, you, you know where you can. Chet, Lamed, Bet can be Chalav or Chalav. But you can say that on every word. You yes. say that every word. Ata, Asher. Whatever, yeah. I mean, there was. It, they, sure. We're not. We're talking about. They they held, on. For example, uh, Laman. You know, they looked at the tzitzis. or also like the tzukim. Mm -hmm. They held of doi rice. So aser taser meiser. They held by. Okay, but this is my question. So lot of How did they know? They didn't know, because they didn't learn the well, They Where would they? hold that you're not allowed to cook a goat in its mother's milk, but other other things you could cook in milk. That's what it means that they kept things exactly as it was written. So they were the coffee after the... But, but for example, beef with uh, milk, maybe they would hold that they could eat. Because they, they were very literal, whatever was written. Mm. There's a whole debate what is an Amaretz. Some said it means he didn't say Kriyashma. And so we never put on film. But now we're going to call Shane Lot Sitzes Bevigdos and more Sitzes. 
Rav Nezer Mekol Shei Mezuzah Al Pischo. There's never Mezuzah. Rav Nezer Mekol Shei Mekol Shei Yesh Lo Bonim Ve'enam Megavim L'Tab Al-Torah. Somebody that's child doesn't give him a Torah education. Acheri Mo'em Yim Afilu Kara V'Shon Avalo Yishim Yish Tamil Chalchamim Yizam Aretz. Somebody who was a big Tamil Chacham, but he didn't serve other Tamil Chalchamim, he's Nam Aretz. On Ravun Alocha Kacheri. Rabbi Barcham Aloi Azmin Aleid Rav Nasha Batar Khalifa. Rabbi Barchama did not allow Zimun for Rav Menashe Bar Tachlifa, even though the Tani suffered the Sefer Behilchasa, even though he learned Sifra and Sifri and Behilchasa, because he felt Rav Menashe was not Meshamesh Tamil Chachan, and therefore he was an Amo Aretz, therefore you don't make a Zimun with him. Kimach Nafshe de Rami Barchama, Rav Rami Barchama died. Omer Rav Loi Nach Nafshe de Rami Barchama, Ela de Loi Azmin Rav Menashe Bar Tachlifa. He died. Because of this insult that he didn't make zimun with Rav Menashe. what was the problem? So he, why, why wasn't he right? He, he, he did work with. He did mishamish chachami. It's only Rabbi Barchama who the loydaka basri didn't. Rabbi Barchama didn't check enough to make sure that he had done that. That he had heard his halacha from the mouths of Chachamim Vigorislu, and somebody who who hears his halacha from Tamil Chachamim is Kitsurvram Rabbana Dami. He's like a Tamil Chacham himself. So we have again our favorite Tsurvram Rabbana written here as well. Ochal Tevelu Meiser. We said you, if, if you eat produce that is Tevel, Right, the, the trumas and meisers haven't been given. You can't make zimun. So tevel pshita. I mean, it's, it's not kosher. Of course, you can't make zimun. So there's produce that requires trumas and meisers midoraisa. Then there's produce that's grown that midoraisa doesn't require it. Midrabbana, they made a You have to give it. What's an example? The otzitz she'ena nako. You have a flower pot. That doesn't have a hole in it. If it's got a flower pot with a hole in it, it's connected to the ground, so it gets its unique from the ground. So whatever grows in the flower pot, you have to give trumas and meisers even mm-hmm. midaraisa. But something that grows from a flower pot that doesn't have a hole and therefore it's not connected to the ground, therefore it's just in the flower pot, it's really not connected to the earth. If it's not connected to the earth, it's not high of trumas and meisers midaraisa, but midrabonon it is. So we're talking about tevel midrabonon. So you might have thought it's only tevel midrabonon. Maybe I can make zimun. So the Mishnah told me, no, I can't make zimun because Tevel Midrabonon also excludes the ability to do zimun what for do that. We, what do we do in, by, by hydroponics now with like in, in Shemitah? Do they use it? Do they use the ground? So hydroponics is considered that it's not growing from the ground. Yes. Do I talk to Shana? But, he, but, yeah, he but that's Tevel. Ground. That's Tevel. So that's the din. You have to give Trumas from Maestros Midrabonon. Oh, okay. uh-huh. So there too. There too. That's different than Shemitah. Shemitah is, is a so, is so a different thing. Today they don't give teva. <coughs> today they don't give teva, do they? You sure you do? You have to give trumas and maestros from produce if it's grown in Eretz Israel. They destroy it. They destroy it, right? They let it rot. They let it rot. Right. right. But you have to separate. Uh, they they, they uh, separate it. Otherwise, it's teva. <clears throat> then it says, "My sir, Rishon, where you did not redeem it. Well, of course you can't make zima. You're not allowed to eat it. Pshita, like the case we said before, where the Levi went to the Kri, and maybe you would think that he doesn't have to give the truma. Mal the same. Like we said, no, he has to give truma." And it would be prohibited to eat it, and it would, therefore there would be no zimun. And then we said, Maestro Sheni, that was not redeemed. You redeemed it, but you didn't do what Kikra did. What's that? Now, an asimon is a slug. It's a mm-hmm. coin, mm-hmm. but it doesn't have a, it's a slug. It doesn't have a face, right? It's not been minted. All right. Like, remember, in Israel, 40 years ago, the Asimonim, 
because yeah. uh, it was a slug that you used for, for the, the phones. phones. Yeah, right. I mean, there's a subway new. No, those are a little bit better now. So Rachmana Amar v'Ratzarta Kesef Biyachah. It yeah, says yeah. that Kesef Sheyeshal of Tzura needs money that has a face. And Heg the Shechil Agabi Karka below Padobi Kesef. If you redeemed produce or hegdish on land, not on money. So you redeemed it, but you did it in an improper way. You might think, oh, I redeemed it, so maybe I can make zimun. The din is I can't make zimun. We said if the shamish, shamis eats a kazayis, he can make zimun. Less of kazayis he can't. But he pshita, you said a kazayis, there's less of kazayis. So that, there's no chiddush here. I didn't tell because I just don't say we focus because I. It wants to be styli- the Tana here. The author of the Mishnah wants to be stylistically symmetrical. It talked about the shamash eating a kazai. So here it's talking about eating less than a kazai. Fine, we understand that there's nothing new here. It's not a big chiddush to say that there's no zimun, but it was done for stylistic reasons, for literary reasons. And a goy who joins you, you can't make, you can't count him as the third guy to make a zimun. So again, of course, it's pshita. Of course, we can. You're talking about a, 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 a non-Jew who's converting. He's had circumcision, but hasn't gone to the mikvah. You might think maybe he can make zimun already. You have to have both. As long as he hasn't gone into the mikvah, he does not have the status of a Jew. Noshim vavodim uktanim ain't mezanim. We said women avodim and ketanim. We don't make zimun. Amar Yosi, kot namutol barisa. You have a baby in a crib mezanim alav. You can make zimun, but not noshim vavodim uktanim ain't mezanim alav. You told me ketanim you can't. So who do Amar Kor Shuben Levi? Do Amar Shuben Levi? Avo bishar Amar kot namutol barisa ain't mezanim alav. Yeah, even though they said a kot who's in a crib can't make zimun, but oisin oiso is snifla asara. He can be added to the ten. If you're counting, and you need a minion, you can be counted him to, to ten. Chibur lezimun asora, or for zimun, I mean to say a lokenu. Rabbi Shimon Levi Tisha ve'eved mitstarfin. He said the same thing. Nine with an eved is also mitstarf to ten. So meisve, I'll ask your question. Meisve Rabbi Yezer, shenichnas lebeisakneses. He came to Shul, he was no, only, was no minion. He, he freed his slave. But that implies as an Eved, if he was not in a Shachar, he didn't become a Jew, you can't count him. So he had, he had a Rish Mila, and he didn't get to the Mikvah, which is like the, the Din of Anisha, right? On the spot. An Eved, an Eved should not. He was Meshachar him. He was no, Meshachar. Was and, no, he was Gemalt already. Because <laughs> before the Evid Kedani, well, but they put him in the mikvah. So you, There's you, a mikvah you, in the shul. But generally, when you when you get a, an Evid and it has the din of an Isha, right? Yes. Evid, so yes. you have to have a mila and a, and a mikvah then. Without intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah but not for not for Gerus yet. It's yeah. for uh, Avdus. It's mila and so and fila for Avdus. So can that apply then if you Meshachar him? With a get, you have to do mila. You have to do. You have to do uh, again? mikvah again. Because it has to be the shame. Uh, mikvah has to be the shame. The shame uh, uh, We'll have that. So of course it's traits to richu shichur. Shichur echad v'nafik bechad. He only freed one. There were two people needed. You said there may be to be three. You have the same meaning. Yeah. Only one need. One, one he freed, but that has nothing to do with anything. And then the other one was the Eved. That, that fulfills the din of nine with the Eved. Because that's what they were trying to prove. How did he free him? You're supposed to work them forever. So if you free them, you're over and asay. With Var Mitzvah Shaini. For a minion. For a minion, you can be over that asay. Fine, but it's a mitzvah that comes mm-hmm. to an Avera. Mitzvah de Rabim Shine. It's not just a mitzvah, it's a mitzvah of Rabim. I mean, sometimes you do a personal mitzvah. Sometimes the mitzvah involves a tzibur. 
The tzibur you can do even a mitzvah above a veil. Rabbi Shulman Levi Lo Lemi Yashkim Adam Lo Beisak Knesses Kedei She Yiske Ve'Yim Nei Masar Rishon. A person should wake up early, get to shul, and be one of the first ten. And feel may a boy machav keep a love schar kulam. Even if a hundred people come to shul afterwards, he gets the schar of all of them. Schar kulam, like a daita, he gets the schar of everybody. Ela Eim, you have to say nois and schar keneged kulam. Doesn't take away their schar. He gets schar equal to everything, what the additive, what everyone else is going to get. Amar Gimel. Tisha ve'aron mitzdarfin. You have nine, and the aron akodesh, it also gets gives you a minion. Aron of Nachman. Ve'aron gavruhu. I don't say that word. Aron is a person. Ela Amar Gimel. Tisha nirin kasar mitzdarfin. If you have a, a, a group of nine people, but they look like there's a multitude, that considered asar. It's when they gather and they look like there's a lot of people. Army lo kima kima badri. So for example, you look into a crowd and you can't identify who's who. It's all one. So then that's ten. That's kima kanfi. Mibadri is they look like a lot of people. Aravani shnayim v'shabes mitzdarfin means two people. At the table on Shabbos, the Shabbos is mitzvah with them to make a zimun. By the way, you notice we don't pass like any of these zimun. I mean, what do you mean? How can you make a zimun? Shabbos is not a person. Two that argue with each other and sharpen each other by they can be mitzvah even without the third. Machvi Rav Chizda, Rav Chizda pointed could go on a Rav Shei like me and Rav Shei. And Machvi Rav Shesh is going on over Rav Chizda. And Rav Shesh is like me and Rav Chizda. On Rav Yechim, Koton Poirech Mezami Olav. So a cotton is a cotton until he's 13 years old. Mm-hmm. But really, he's a cotton until he gets two Cyrus, until he sees two hairs okay, by the genitalia. Let's say at, at already at 12 and a half, mm-hmm. six months before, he's called a cotton Poirech, a, a, someone who's maturing quickly. Mm-hmm. He already has the two hairs. But he doesn't still. So you can make zimun. But he, do, he still doesn't have the chiyuvim of a, like for the veils, right? Until he actually gets to thirteen. Does he get? Does he get that veils before his forty? Or is it? You become an adult when you have two sides. Huh? Yeah. You become That's an adult when you have two sides. So, even before. So, for example, his bia would be a halachic bia. Yeah, but that would be halachic bia at age nine. But we. Have, but, but what happens? Let's say he's thirteen. Doesn't have shei saros. So there. We the chazok we don't check for most yeah. things, but for example, for we wouldn't let him lane uh, so partial zochor. Right, you'd have right. to have an exam or yibum. We wouldn't they there they would examine him but, if he doesn't have space iris. They wouldn't allow. What him. about the, the, the but the other the other things thirteen chazaka everyone thirteen has it already. So wouldn't but if it's a doraisa the uh-huh. they what would inspect him. Is, would he have the virus of a girl to be the let's say to be or something like that? He gave us wrong. He did have space iris. I, I don't see why not. Why wouldn't he be treated like a godel? The din is the station, the simonim are what's important, not the age. What happens is once you reach a certain age, then, then we assume that that's what you, chazaka, that you have the two sides. So, the first I stay Cyrus. Say again? A 12 year old that I stay Cyrus. What if they were 11 years old and had to stay Cyrus? So he's mechoyed to all the, all the mitzvahs then? I believe it's totally in simonim. It's not totally in age. Now we not do a low plume. We we make her a din, we do that so but a low plume. Yeah, we're not to embarrass people, etc. We wait until they're thirteen. I never heard of a kid coming up when he's twelve and say, Look, I already have Stice Cyrus, I should uh-huh. be more mitzvah early. But you know. We do as a low plume. But if it, if it came if it came to it and it was something the rice that they could did, they would examine him and they would then they would find out he might have the he might uh-huh. have the Allah he might have the status even before the age. Like here, cotton Pirech Mazan Allah. Then it says, But we don't, we're not medagdik. You just told me, I'm ready to stay Cyrus in. You just told me, if he has two Cyrus, you can bet. We don't look. I mean, we don't, we're don't. we not medagdik. What is going on? More is that coming to teach? Lav la sui cotton pareya. Okay, so we'll have to be waiting on the hook. Uh, we'll see the final halacha tomorrow about all these minions.
Oh, 